to start tracking Amazon keyword rank up to 24 times a day. Now, why would you even want to do this? How is this beneficial to you? How could this make you money? Well, as we have talked about in previous videos, the ranks uh, organic and sponsored that you might see inside of Helium 10 uh, Cerebro are either from, could be from today, uh, could have been from five days ago, could have been from 29 days ago. It's anywhere between one and 30 days old. We're not checking it uh, completely actively. It gives you just a holistic look at ranking. Now, there might be something that you really wanna focus on, like your top keywords. You might not want to see something where it could have been taken last week, it could have been taken a couple weeks ago. You really wanna focus on that keyword. Well, in that case, you're going to want to uh, be looking at your rank a lot more frequently than just looking at it you know, once a day or even once a week. So one of the ways that you can do that, if you really found some good, uh, more, most important keywords for your listing is by exporting to a different tool, a uh, keyword tracker. And again, j just to, to kind of set the, the scene here, what is the difference between a rank in Cerebro, a rank in keyword tracker and a rank you might see on your browser right now you know some people say wait a minute how come my rank is different from what i see in cerebro to what i see in my browser remember these are not estimates that are taking us through this is an exact rank taken from an exact browsing scenario you could have 10 people at the very same time in different parts of the country you could have three people in the same house at the same exact time search for something on Amazon and it could be different ranks, all right? Whether somebody's on a mobile browser, somebody's on Safari, somebody's on Chrome, somebody signed in, somebody signed off, somebody signed in, in in Los Angeles, California, somebody signed in in Brooklyn, New York, it could have different ranks. It usually doesn't uh, fluctuate that much, but that's why you might see something different. It doesn't mean that one is wrong and one is right. They're all actual ranks, but uh, you know, Based on the browsing scenario, Amazon might show something different. Anyways, how can you track up to uh, 12 or 24 times a day? Let me show you how. You're gonna want to take your keywords that, that you want to go ahead and export. Let's just say coffin, letterboard, Halloween, DVD collection, and coffin bookshelf. So you go ahead and click this button, add to keyword tracker, find the product that you're wanting to add this to, and you can add track a new product if you haven't added this to your keyword tracker before. And then basically you are going to automatically have these products in keyword tracker. Now, once you go over to keyword tracker, you should see those new keywords that you had added in here. Now I mentioned uh, at the top of this uh, section is how to do it 24 times a day. Well, by default keyword tracker, unlike Cerebro, it's checking once a day. If you wanted to check up to 24 times a day, you're just going to hit this little rocket ship that is next to each keyword. And then now you are going to get ranks 24 times a day for this keyword. So that's just a great way. Again, if you want to get more into detail on keyword tracker, there are other videos that kind of help you with that. So that's just one of the ways to export keywords out of Cerebro. There's actually a couple more ways that you can do that. One of the ways is a lot of people like to manipulate the data, maybe in an Excel spreadsheet. All right. So if you want to do that, all you have to do is hit the export data button directly from Cerebro. And then you could say, Hey, download to a XLS uh, X file or a CS SV file. And then what that uh, does is it downloads all of the raw data keywords and all the search volume and everything into an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and then you might be able to do a little bit more filtering or something like that, that you might not have been able to do inside of the Helium 10 dashboard. A third way that you can export the data from Cerebro is to our word processor tool, which is called Frankenstein. All right. So if you export, if you hit export and then you hit it to Frankenstein, what it's going to do is it's going to open up a new window and it's going to open up Frankenstein. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to take away duplicates and maybe, um, you know, filter out certain words, allows you to do word counts. You want to see, hey, show me all of the keywords that have at least four words. Show me all the keywords that have coffin, take out any keyword phrase that has Halloween, whatever you want to do uh, in 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 Frankenstein, you can manipulate the keywords in that way. If you want to have a, a better uh, 
instructions on how to uh, work with Frankenstein. There's a video that's in the Frankenstein tool that helps you with that. So there's three different ways to export. Number one, go to Keyword Tracker, learn how to track these keywords 24 times a day in rotating browsing scenarios. Number two, export your keyword list to Excel and then manipulate the data that way. And then number three, export it to our keyword processing tool, Frankenstein, that gives you even more options.